Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. We only want to take a look here at the one hour chart. Um, feel free to check out the last video. I explained a little bit more the context of the ADA chart uh, after the flush, the sell off in the last few days. So ADA is, in my opinion, moving here in a wave five to the downside, which would be the last wave of this entire correction. Current interpretation would suggest that the move down was a third wave. Yeah, some kind of a third wave because it is so imp so strong, so impulsive. Yeah, typically you see those strong sell-offs in a third wave. Now, one interpretation I have is that um, a larger wave four peaked here on the fifteenth of April, and we're now following through to the downside in a one-two, one-two setup. Then we are now in this mm -hmm. third wave. The white third wave, which is part of the yellow third wave, might already be complete. Could be that we're now in the fourth wave. I gave you resistance yesterday for the fourth wave. And we could then get one more low or even two more lows. That's not quite clear. Either way, it should follow this roadmap as long as price is below 30.4 cents. Of course, I cannot rule out that um, with that flush, uh, yesterday's flush down, that um, an overall a new bear market low has been established. But as you know, analysis is always based on evidence and I would need to see a five wave move above resistance to confirm that things are rather uncertain at the moment yeah, because we've just made a new low so we need to wait for ADA to establish itself again until it does that and shows us a bullish pattern expectations have to be that ADA is following the trend because the trend is at the moment down that's typically how it works right without a trend change signal everything would be guessing you know um Especially if I told you now, okay, the low is in, you know, it would set a lot of people up for failure because it would just be based on pure guessing, pure guesswork. Now, at this stage, I acknowledge that the low could certainly be in, right? Um, but it, there is just no evidence. So another low is preferred, um, especially if I follow this microstructure, which shows a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two setup. Or alternatively, all of this would be wave 1, but then we would be dealing with an ending diagonal. It wouldn't change much, to be honest, in terms of the wave count. Um, it would just indicate that, okay, maybe yellow wave 3 is already here. This is yellow wave 4. In that scenario, we could even go a little higher, but if it's corrective and I don't get an impulse, then this would still count as a wave 4. And then still one more low. So that's what I mean. One, more, one or two more lows would be um, preferred at this stage especially as long as price stays below 30.4 cents. A break above 30.4 uh, 30 cents would not necessarily confirm that a low has been made, but it would certainly let us be watching, um, cause, cause for a, a more bullish consideration. But then if price really breaks above the 38.5 cent level, which is a level I've been talking about for weeks now, we need to break above that to get some confirmation that a low has been made. So far, ADA has avoided that. Um, then we can consider that, yeah, you know, but, you know, it depends on, well, that low has been made, but it depends on the structure. Eventually, what you always need to see, you need to see an impulse to the upside that is large enough to really indicate that, okay, it's it's now unlikely that this is still going to take um, course to another low. And in crypto, you never know with altcoins anyway. Um, when they break, they break. And then it's normally worth just sort of uh, sitting back and um, watch for another upside structure to emerge until then the focus is down okay um always bear in mind that altcoins aren't as stable as, as bitcoin ethereum it is what it is it's just part of the game you know um and now we're watching we all all eyes need to be on that 30.4 cent level in my opinion and if we look at the microstructure let me go to the one hour chart obviously ideally yeah in this way four we are moving in a three-way structure i'd like to see a clearer three-way structure but yesterday i already gave you here the um the resistance area as we saw a little bit of a, a move to the upside as you might know if you've been watching my videos for a while the 38.2 retracement is normally the ideal target for a fourth wave so because it reached that and got rejected i cannot rule out that the fourth wave is already in but um, ideally i'd like to have a clearer three-way structure i mean that's the micro wave level or micro level here a break below the saturday low at 21.9 cents would confirm that we are heading down in the fifth wave of the third and then we should get at some point another bounce in the fourth and the fifth. Let's see. If we break above that level again at 30.4, 30 I would first say, okay, it's probably the yellow wave four that can go a little higher. But if it goes above 38.5 cents, then 
I think we have to consider more closely that a low has been made for ADA. Until then, however, the trend is down and we need to see a trend change signal to have a different opinion. Okay, um, targets to the downside we talked about yesterday, uh, showed you, I don't, won't show you in this video, but yesterday's video we showed you the volume bars, um, historical volume around the 17 cent area it starts. So that's where a lot of support should be starting, should we go lower. Yeah, that's my update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.